Michael Putney with Channel 10. Whoa! We reporters can be unwelcome guests sometimes, and today was no exception for our senior political reporter, Michael Putney. Michael got splashed with water by the wife of a political candidate who's under investigation by the FBI. The woman who threw the water is married to Justin Lamar Sternad, a Democrat who ran for Congress in the August primary. He came in third place in the race for the right to run against Republican David Rivera, who now appears to be in a heap of trouble. Our now dried out reporter and a very <laughs> dapper one, Michael Putney, here on to explain what this dousing incident was all about and who exactly is in trouble with the law. Well, I think we could start with Congressman Rivera. He certainly is in trouble, as well as Justin Lamar Sternad, who we are told now is singing at the top of his lungs to the FBI about how David Rivera reportedly financed Sternad's campaign. Today, I went to the Sternad home in Cutler Bay hoping to get some answers, since Justin Lamar Sternad is not answering calls or responding to emails. I noticed the sign on the door warning trespassers to leave or get wet. I'm sorry to bother you. I'm Michael Putney with Channel 10. <laughs> And when Mrs. Sternad opened the door, I got drenched. So as you can see, we are all wet, and Justin Lamar Sternad is not talking. If he is home, his wife threw the water on me. We do know, however, that Mr. Sternad is talking to the FBI. And Sternad is reportedly saying that Congressman David Rivera secretly strategized and paid for the Democrats' campaign. If true, that would be a criminal conspiracy, since Sternad did not report the source of his funds to the Federal Elections Commission. Congressman, what is your relationship to Lamar Justin Sternad? Did you put him up to running in the uh, Democratic primary? Well, as you know, Michael, I've made various statements on this matter. Rivera, who didn't return calls today, issued a statement in August saying he had never met Sternad and never helped him. As my statement says in writing and publicly that I had nothing to do with that. But Sternad's telling the FBI Rivera did, our sources say, although they never met. The go-between was this woman, Ana Aliegro, a Miami political consultant with a checkered history. She's been linked to Rivera professionally and personally. She posted these photos of herself and Rivera on her Facebook page. Aliegro recently failed to meet with the FBI and has disappeared. Sternad says he earned just $30,000 last year and initially reported spending about 11000 on his campaign. But he amended his report to say he loaned his campaign $53,000, $63,000 total, after reports that he had spent money on expensive political flyers, including one targeted at black voters, implying that he himself was black. He's not. And when the Herald asked him about it, Sternad sent an email saying, kiss my lily white blank. So maybe what happened to me today is not so surprising. Thankfully, that was cool tap water. It was kind of refreshing, in fact. But we are still looking for serious answers from Mr. Sternad and Congressman Rivera. Because thankfully it wasn't sticky Gatorade or Kool-Aid or something No, it worse. hadn't been on the stove. It was okay. kind of cool. But on a serious note, as you say, Michael, I mean, this family is really under a lot of stress. Yeah. Well, they are, and I can't really blame Mrs. Sternad. They've got five kids. They're in their mid-30s. He doesn't make much money, and he is looking at prison time. So I can understand why she would be upset, yeah. and uh, I changed my shirt. <laughs> well, meanwhile, David Rivera is still trying to win his seat, so... How is he being impacted by all this? Well, this is taking a toll. Mr. Rivera has been a popular politician in South Florida for a long time. The last poll I showed, uh, saw Joe Garcia, his Democratic opponent, is up by eight, nine points. Okay. Michael, thank you.